Well, hello, it's the start of a brand new quarter, which gives me that beginning of the year, fresh, new feeling. It's like it was all ahead of me, I can do it. And the great thing is I get that four times a year because I break it down into quarters. And as I spoke about in last week's video, this quarter is all about making the YouTube videos. Only not this week, because this week I've got a friend coming in with her daughter on Wednesday and she wants to do some sound reactive stuff. So you may have seen I've been building some tools that respond to sound. I've got that to do over the next couple of days. And over here, I've got Kitty busy writing out my to-do list for me today. Here we go. And I know it's a little bit weird having Kitty write out my to-do list for me, but I figured the other day, because I spend the morning writing my journal entries about what I'm planning on doing today and how I'm feeling and how I'm responding to everything else, I would have to sit and work all that out and then sit down and then also write my to-do list. Because the world we live in seems to be very much that you ask the computer to do something and then you sit around and you wait for it to come back. I want my computer doing things for me when I'm doing something else or when I'm sleeping. So this is why Kitty is making a lovely handwritten to-do list for me uh, that is hopefully finished by now. And there we go. Uh, there's some blood pressure monitoring, journaling, SVG export, and over here, I've been looking for a decent card stand, and it turns out that tarot card stands seem to be so much better because everything else is all about, oh, here's a business card stand, or these really cheap wooden card stands for wedding, but you go into the occult and suddenly the quality goes up a lot. Boy, it's a little bit windy. I decided it would be nice today to have a little break and go outside and touch grass. I'm here in the Dingo in Shrewsby, which is a slightly different place. Lots of flowers, hopefully you've seen those. <laughs> My beard appears to be going all over the place. Now I thought I'd come out here and a break. Oh my goodness. Because it's all getting a little bit intense in the studio, I'm um, <laughs> trying to get all the stuff finished in time and uh, I've already got this afternoon to get it done, but I think it's gonna be okay. We're all gonna be set for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's lovely out here. This place is really beautiful, so I'm glad, I'm glad I managed to bring you out here. Anyway, I think this will do it for uh, vlogging today. Well, good morning, and I've just got in, so I'm setting up for, as you know by now, the little mini workshop. So I'm going to be moving Kitty's plotter from over there to the table here, and then get Trevor the plotter here. I think we're gonna use this one. Get it ready, because these plots take slightly longer, some of them half an hour, some of them an hour. So I want to be able to like do more than one at once. I obviously won't be recording what's going on here because like my friend's daughter is here and she doesn't want to be in the video, but I might catch up at the end to see how we got on. And then after this, things go back to whatever normal is. Right, let me get a set up. I've got one more bit of code I want to change. I just thought of it. Well, yesterday was kind of exhausting. Well, at the end of the day, I was exhausted. Not because it was a workshop with one child. I've done workshops before with grown adults and uh, have been equally as tired because I think it's lots of external focus, like for a whole day. So I didn't do any videoing. Today, I'm going to do some more pen plots from the sound things, clean up the code a little bit so I can put it online and then mention it in the newsletter that I'm writing this afternoon. Ah, because the code is in no state to to share at the moment. It was good enough for, for me being hands-on yesterday. Anyway, so that's my plan for the today. Uh, that was my last commitment um, to that workshop. But that's not true, I've got one more, but that's a whole different thing. So now finally this quarter can start properly and I can get on with the tutorials, which I'll be doing next week. So let's get in and write the newsletter. 
subscription link down below. Um, although it's probably only interesting for people who like these videos and who like pen potting. But considering the tutorials are happening soon, maybe get more interesting soon. Anyway, I am rambling now. So I will see you later with some examples of the work. I thought I'd show you this one, which was one of the more popular ones from yesterday. Uh, this is the MIDI setup one, so I've got a virtual piano here, and I've got my keyboard over here. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's this red bar that's moving across here. And then, when I press one of these keys here... ...a circle appears. There you go, and as long as it holds down. Now, that obviously the colours here, it depends on your pens. The nice thing about this is you can either be playing music or something, I can't play the keyboard, or you can start looking at this and go, well, I've played some notes here, but it feels like I need something in this space. That's going to be in this lower octave here. And then maybe something up here. And then a few more over here. And then go, okay, I kind of like how that is. Actually, I'm going to join some of these up here. So let's put some. There we go. And now I'm going to press a key on the keyboard here for to save those as SVGs that I can send over to the pen plotter. Let's go grab ourselves some Sharpies and we're going to pick five colors together. So that blue, I'm just going to grab all the blues. That blue. Actually, let's do that light one, that sort of magenta -y thing, and... I've been stopping this before it's finished because code is great because it makes everything perfect, but I really like sort of interrupting it. And if I go and press this in here, and I'm stopping it before it's finished, I probably should have waited, um, but I wanted to show you what I was up to. Let's change this pen. And the reason for stopping is it allows me to make sort of more choices about the design that I didn't have in the original code. The game, like I said, is, is kind of perfect. It's going to do everything correctly. But by me stopping this sort of halfway through, it sort of changes it a little bit. It makes it a little bit more human. And there we go. There's the finished pen plot. You can see the difference between the circles that were allowed to completely finish and then the ones that I sort of interrupted before they're all there anyway. What I really love about this is sort of the direct connection between playing the MIDI keys on the keyboard and then going onto the screen and then heading over to the plot over there to turn into this. Now, I think that this was quite a fun thing to do with a little workshop because it's very straightforward. So you get an instant feedback. It was for a 10 year old and she really enjoyed doing it. And then you have the choice of picking the colors and the pens yourself and then watching it plot. So I think it went really well. There's something really nice of connecting music and sound and visual and pen plotting all together and now i need to take some pictures of this so i can put it into my newsletter which is what i'm going to do now after lunch i decided it would be nice to go out to the farmer's market in shrewsbury and look at all the stores and then also get some food as well maybe because it's really great there but while I was there, I also decided I was going to record some video in a really crowded place in public with lots of people around because that's something I want to do more of and it's really intimidating to stand out there and talk to the camera. It's fine here in the studio, but I want to make the videos more interesting and have some outdoor stuff as well. So I did it. I stood there, I recorded all the footage and this is what I ended up with. So while I was very brave for recording in front of other people, it turns out I was talking to a camera that wasn't even recording. But you know, that's how it goes, I suppose. The first footage of me speaking out in public in front of lots of people. Haven't got it. That's it. I'm going to call it a day with the failed footage. That's my week note. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week for the start of recording the pen plotting tutorials. Don't know how I'm going to make that interesting for the week notes. Okay, love you all. Bye.